Hi, Gemini. I uh, am doing your monthly for December. I'm focusing on the great conjunction, the major shift that we're all having, and it's very, very exciting. So this for you, uh, the chart I drew up for Gemini is my mother's chart. Well, not her exact chart, of course, but I put June 9th. That's her birthday. So, of course, I put 2019. And I like to look at the wheel because I'm an intuitive Western astrologer. So it helps. You know, I can look at the ephemeris, but I like to look at the wheel. So this particular wheel, the Great Conjunction falls in the fifth house of love affairs, children, creativity. So Gemini um, in Capricorn in Capricorn. So that's the great shift. Jupiter is expansion and large. It's a great benefic. It's opportunity. Uh, Venus is there as well. Venus is love, attraction, what you like. Uh, the, and, this, and also Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and that is structure. It's structure. Um, and Pluto is passion and power power you know it's it's transformation too so there may have been some endings some transformative endings but this is this is like the big shift is the other side of that you know I mean Pluto is Pluto has been transiting since 2008 so it's it's been a tumultuous transit for everyone so now it's the big shift on the other side of that so in December, you will have Jupiter moving into Capricorn. And this, this shows it in your fifth house of love affairs, children, creativity. You may be, be extremely creative with a new project. And Geminis are creative anyway. So you, if you want to get that project off the ground and make it solid or some opportunity comes along, just sign that dotted line, you know copyright that contract, um, recording contract, whatever it is, you know, um, solidify it and say yes, say yes. Um, children, you know, it's possible to conceive. Uh, love affairs look really, really good because fifth house is love affairs. It's Leo's house ruled by the heart. And to have Venus and Jupiter there, uh, you may want to solidify a love affair It's possible possible that an old breakup, you know, maybe could be possibly rekindled or, you know, maybe something new will solidify for you. Or you could have news about a, a children, your children, some, somehow your children, creativity, but it looks really, really good for your fifth house. And that's Leo's house. So Leo's the arts, creativity, it's ruled by the heart, children, uh, yeah, so, you know, there may be some really good opportunities in those areas coming your way. So it looks great for you, Gemini, in your fifth house. Um, yeah, so Mercury, your ruler, you know, it's like lightning. Mercury rules so fast, the trickster. So Mercury, will, Mercury and the sun will be in Sagittarius. And the sun will be right on Jupiter. Well, actually, I'm looking at the natal chart for June 9th, if you were born that day. But, um, yeah, so Jupiter Jupiter will have left Sagittarius and moved, moved into Capricorn. So anyway, the, the, your ruler, your ruler, though, will still be in Sagittarius. So that's very lucky for publishing, meeting foreigners, publishing, writing, all the... You know, your ruler, all the stuff you do anyway, you're so social and so great at networking and writing and, and any kind of social networking, you know, throwing parties. Yeah, throwing parties, getting people together. So um, you'll be at your height doing those things. And Sun, Jupiter, opposing the Sun, Moon in Gemini. Yeah, that's that. That's on fire for you. Publishing, if you're publishing, rapping, doing anything like that, you know, any kind of uh, writing, um, 
publishing, traveling, flitting about like Gemini's do, just have fun because it's, it's very creative for you, very creative for you. And those creative opportunities and social networking may turn into um, salt solidify in your fifth house. Something fun that you love to do anyway may turn into a structured career for you. So, um, yeah, just enjoy December, Gemini. All right, take care. If you like my channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Have a good December.